and three. Good morning, everybody, as usual, and welcome to your English classes. Now, boys and girls, the last class, we learned about school subjects, okay? The last class, we did some exercises about school subjects, uh, history, biology, physical education, okay? So now, let's remember, let's remember this vocabulary, okay? Listen, and I have a very, very easy and famous question. What is your favorite school subject, okay? Let's remember this vocabulary with this question. What's your favorite school subject, okay? So, question for everybody. For Williams, Gabriela, Janela, Nicole, Jairo, Mark, Abril, Robert, and Pamela. What are your favorite school subjects? Volunteer to answer that question, volunteer. Who wants to answer? Morning, Prophet. Okay, Robert, tell me, what's your favorite? Uh, my, sub, my favorite subject is communication no just a language an english is language but but it's perfect very good very good another volunteer to answer thank you robert very good lady nicole abril mar jairo williams wendy gabriela what is your favorite school subject very easy question huh very very easy volunteer to answer orally Nobody. Or dedocracia. Okay, Wendy, please activate your camera and tell me what's your uh, favorite. Uh, my favorite subject is chemistry. Chemistry, chemistry, chemistry very good, perfect. Uh, another volunteer, another volunteer. Come on, very, very easy question. Let's see. Okay, dedocracia. Let's see. By dedocracia, the next volunteer is Nicole. Nicole, please activate your microphone. What's your favorite school subject? Very easy. Okay, are you there, Nicole? Profe, no sé. Come on, school subject, history, English, biology. Choose one, your favorite. Only one. Okay, Nicole is a little nervous. Let's see. Okay, don't worry. Listen, here we have the most common school subjects, okay? And all these school subjects are very easy because they are similar in Spanish, such as history, biology, physical education. They are very, very similar to Spanish. But here we have chemistry. Uh, when this favorite school subject, chemistry. Now, for one extra point, what is the meaning of chemistry in Spanish? Who knows, what is the meaning of chemistry in Spanish? Okay, but I want to hear you, uh, Wendy, I want to hear you. Please activate your microphone and tell me, what is the meaning of chemistry in Spanish? Chimica. Very good, and who is your chemistry teacher? Uh, who is Rudy, Joseph, who is your chemistry teacher? Olano, maybe? Puede ser Olano. Olano, ah, okay. And the class is exciting or boring? So-so. Uh, so so. So so, okay, perfect. So, boys and girls, now we are going to do some activities related about these school subjects, okay? We are going to read the description and decide what a school subject is the correct, okay? So very quickly, here I have some exercises for you, okay? 
uh, this page is in the plans for. If you have your book, it's in your book. If you have the paper, of course, it's in the paper. If not, don't worry, okay? You need to participate, only participate, please. In activity number four here, we have the description, okay? We have uh, a situation and we have the first letter, we have the first letter of the school subject, okay? We have the first letter, so we need to read the description and decide what a school subject are they talking about, okay? So let's do number one together, okay? Let's do number one together. Let's see. Mm, let's see, let's see. Okay, Wendy, please, can you help me to read until I say stop? Let's hasta que te diga stop, please. Help me to read, please. ¿Desde dónde, profesor? Since here. With, yes, number one, please. With? Yeah. Uh, we have got six subjects this year. I am not keen on our math teacher. He doesn't explain algebra very well. Merde okay, stop, stop, yeah. stop. Very good, Wendy. Thank yeah. you. So here they are talking about algebra, right? So the school subject, very easy. It's not English. It's not French. It's math okay so now we are going to read number two situation number two description number two and we need to decide what a school subject is the correct okay volunteer to help me volunteer for yeah, one perfect. extra point okay thank you help me in number two please it's chemistry okay 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 perfect <laughs> let's read the complete situation please mister yeah, Mr. Davis is teaching us chemistry. I love doing experiments with chemicals in the lab. Very good, perfect, very easy. You do experiments, you cut a, a rat, a rabbit to see the blood in chemistry, okay, chemistry. So here, the correct school subject is chemistry. Okay, this is the correct school subject. Please volunteer to help me in number three. It's very easy, huh? Volunteer, volunteer to help me. Remember, it's oral practice, oral qualification, okay? For extra points, it's an opportunity. Okay, thank you. Okay, help me, please. Mm, okay, and our French teacher is nice. She's from Paris. What about you? Okay, very good, Williams. Very, very good. Very good, Abril, Nicole on the chat. Ah, Kiera Campos, what is the meaning of chemistry? Chemi chemistry is chemica. Okay, very good, Nicole. Very good, Abril. And very good, Williams. Okay, they say that that teacher is from Paris. So, Paris language, the correct school subject is uh, French. Okay, very good. Let's see French here. French. That's perfect. Now, volunteer, please, volunteer to help me on number four. Volunteer to help me on number four. It's very, very easy, yeah? Maybe your favorite school subject. Volunteer, nobody, or the democracia. Come on, Miss Okay, Robert, please help me in number, situation number two, sentence number four, please, Robert. Robert, I'm, Robert, are you there, Sasaji? Yes. Sí, sí, profe. Ok, tell me, please. No entiendo, profe. Ok, help me to read, please. I'm... Uh, I'm... Joey. 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 
we're learning how to use Office PowerPoint to give presentation alike. Stop, 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 stop. Very good, Robert. Now, listen, Robert. Huh? You are talking about Office and PowerPoint. What a school subject could be? PowerPoint, Office, Word, Excel. What a school subject could be? Mm. You play Fortnite, you, you play your Fortnite, you Free Fire. What is the name of the object? Con? Okay, I'm gonna help you. Very good, Jair. Con? Okay, when you go to the internet, what do you use when you go to the internet? Come on, Robert, you can do it. Tú puedes. What do you use when you go to the internet? Cuando vas al internet, to the net. Computation, computation. Computer, very good. So here is, I am judging computer, okay? Computer, and Kiara Campos, help me please. Computer, here we have the letter S. Computer, S. Kiara Campos or Jair Trigoso, please activate your microphone and help me. The complete studies, studies. Studies. Very good, Jair. Thank you. Studies, okay? That is the correct school subject. I am judging computer, computer studies, okay? Perfect. Now, volunteer, please, to help me in number five. Volunteer to help me in number five. High five. Come on, it's easy. It's not difficult. <clears throat> Really? Okay, dedocracia, let's see. By dedocracia, Mark, activate your microphone, please, Mark, and help me. Are you there, Mark? Estás? Very good, Nicole. Very good, Wendy. Okay, Mark is not there. Nicole, please activate your microphone and help me to read. Perfect. Okay, thank you, please. Help me to read number five, I. I like English too. Uh, where? It's perfect, uh, studying. Studying uh, Shakespeare this term. Very good, Nicole, perfect. The correct answer, it's English, okay, English. Why English teacher? Ah, because you are studying about William Shakespeare, okay? It's about literature. Okay, very good, Mark, very good. Okay, Wendy, please help me in number six, the last one. Uh, but I really can't stand physical education. I am hoping it's at the spur. Very good. When you talk about a sports, very good, Abril. When you talk about a sports, you are talking about physical education. Perfect. So here in number six, the correct answer is physical education. Okay. So, sorry. So we have complete activity number one, okay? And we have remember about the school subjects. Now, question for you, huh? question for the most intelligent. Let's see. You need to decide, you need to decide if the sentence is a plan or is an intention, okay? Listen, huh? I'm going to tell you a sentence. And you need to decide if this sentence is a plan or is an intention, okay? Listen the sentence, please. I'm going to get married. I'm going to get married on 2050. I'm going to get married in 2050. That sentence is a plan or is an intention? Who can tell me? 
Okay, I want to hear you on the chat now, please. I want to hear you. I'm going to get married in 2050. It's a plan or is an intention? Who can tell me? Nobody really? Williams, Abril, Wendy, Nicole, Carlos, Gab Gabriela, Jairo, Chiara, Mark, Nicole, Lady, Robert, Pamela, Wendy, Rosa. Chiara say intention, Wendy say plan. Okay, remember, please, it's in your exam, huh? the last week I told you. When we use, when we use the going to, okay, going to, is going to, I'm going to, are going to, most of the time is to talk about intentions, okay? Most of the time is for intentions. Teacher, why intentions? Por qué intentions? Ah, because the going to is for long time. It's a, a long period of time, okay? Five years, 10 years, 20 years. So in the progress, in the progress, your plans, your anxious can change. So it's not a plan, it's an intention. Okay, so uh, the present continuous for the future is for a short, very, very short future. So it's a plan because it's going to happen in a short period of time. For example, I'm going to the cinema. I'm going to the cinema. Ah, is a short future and it's a plan because you say, hey, I'm going to the cinema. You have your tickets, maybe. But if you say, I'm going to go to a, a 7D cinema, 7D cinema, it's an intention because it's oof, in a long future because we have 4D cinema, okay? 4D. So remember that different, please. Present continuous, a plan, a fact, and going to is an intention. Most of the time is an intention. La mayoría del tiempo es un intention, okay? Is clear? Got it? Lo, lo captaron, chicos? Yes or so-so? I want to hear you, please. Yes or so-so? Okay, let me see. Let me see the chat. Let me see. Luis say yes. Wendy, yes. So, so okay. Nicole say yes. Okay. Now, now we are going to go to another activity, okay? And in this activity, we need to decide if the sentence is a plan or is an intention, okay? Present continuous, plan. Going to, going to intention, okay? So let's do some exercises. One, two, and three. Here, in activity number, okay, activity number five or activity number two, here we have a conversation, okay? This conversation is in disorder, but listen, number one, first, here in brackets, we are going to decide if these sentences are plans or these sentences are intention, okay? And later, later, we are going to write this conversation between Simon and Laura in the correct order, okay? Number one, decide if it's a plan or if an intention. And number two, we write the conversation in the correct order, okay? Let's see. Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Janela, please, can you help me to read number one, Janela? Can you activate your microphone, please? Janela, are you there, estás allí? Okay, Wendy, please help me to read number one, this question, what's? What's Susan going to do next year? Very good. Now, ladies, boys, going to, going to, plan or intention, going to? 
for everybody, help me, todos. Going to plan or intention. Come on, I want to hear you. Quiero escucharlo, chicos. Plan or intention, el going to. Nicole, Gabriela, Rosa, Jair, Williams, Antoinette, Pamela, Mark, Jean Paul, Carlos, Luis, Kiara. Going to plan or intention. I have explained, ¿no? les he explicado, chicos. Going to. ¿Y San? Intention. Very good. Going to is an intention. Okay? So, please volunteer to help me to read. Volunteer to help me to read in number two, please, here. Volunteer to help me. Volunteer. Come on, it's your opportunity to get point. Okay, thank you. Help me, please. Okay, William, help me, please. Okay. Okay, Williams, repeat, um, please repeat the sentence. July, okay, perfect, Williams. I'm taking the A levels next July. So, boys, girls, guys, I'm taking my A levels next week is a plan or is an intention it's a plan plan it's a plan. plan very good is a is a plan why uh, teacher okay because we use the present continuous we use the present continuous so volunteer to help me to read this part please so volunteer come on it's easy Okay, okay, Wendy, thank you. Help me, please. Help me to read, please. Okay, Yanela, don't worry. So? Yo? Yes, please. Thank I, you. So, I am going to work really hard this year. Very good. Going to. Perfect, Wendy. Is a plan or is an intention? Intention. Intention. An intention. Perfect, perfect, Wendy. Perfect, Rosa. Is an intention, okay? I'm going to work very hard. Similar to, you say, mommy, this year I'm going to study very hard. It's an intention, but it's not a, it's not a plan, it's not a reality, okay? So, very good. Volunteer, please, to help me here. Okay, Rosa, thank you. Help me to read, please, Rosa. Are you going to stay um, at school? Very good, Rosa. Going to plan or intention? Intention. Very good. Perfect. Okay, it's an intention. Perfect. Volunteer to help me to read the... <laughs> okay. Okay, before Wendy, Jayu Trigoso, please activate your microphone and help me to read here about Laura's sentence. Hi, Tang. She is going to Chang School. Very good, Jair. Change school now. Going to plan or intention? Intention. Intention. Perfect. Okay. Intention. Very good. Now, Wendy, please help me to read the answer. No. No, I am not. I am starting work in my office garage next month. Very good. I'm starting. Present continuous. Is a plan or is an intention? It's a plan. A plan. Perfect. It's a plan. Very good. Volunteer to help me to read the last one. Volunteer. Very good, girls. But come on. Jean Paul, eh, Luis Alonso, eh, Carlos. Volunteer to read. Volunteer. Okay, okay, give me a second. Volunteer, please. Robert, Mark, Jairo. Nobody, really? Okay, the Docracia. Let me see. By the Docracia, the volunteer is gonna be... Luis Alonso, please activate your microphone. I wanna hear you. Luis. Luis. Come on, Riz. Okay, Robert, please help me to read the last one. Help me to read the last one. Because? Because? 
They are moving house in the in August. Very good. Now, Robert, look. Present continuous, moving, are moving. Is a plan or is an intention? It's a plan. It's a plan. Perfect. It's a plan. Okay. And finally, we have this. Why does she want to do that? Okay. So, we have complete activity number one. We have decide if the sentences are plans or the sentences are intention. Yes, lady, very good. Now, now we are going to write the sentences in the correct order. Okay, we are going to write the sentences in the correct order. Please, let's listen the conversation, okay? And then we choose the correct order. Number one, what's Susan going to do next year? I'm taking my A-levels next July. So, I'm going to work really hard this year. Are you going to stay on a school? I think she's going to change school. No, I am not. I'm starting work in my uncle's garage next month. What about you? Because they are moving house in August. Why does, what does she want to do that? Okay, so this conversation is in disorder. Let's write the correct order, okay? Number one is, what's Susan going to do next year, okay? So, let's complete together, please. Let's complete together. It's a question, okay? It's a question, and they are talking about Susan. So, number two must be an answer. Number two must be an answer and using Susan or using she, okay? So, please, help me, help me to, to choose number two, please. Very good, Nicole. Nicole, activate your microphone and tell me, please. What is number two? I think she is going to change. Yeah. Very good, Nicole. I think she is going to change a school. Perfect. This is number number two because it's the answer of the question and the subject is she and Susan is she. Okay. Very good, Nicole, and very good, Abril. Now we have number one, number two. I think. She's going to change a school. Now, let's see number three. Let's choose number three. Okay, Wendy, activate your microphone, please. Mm. Very good, Abril. Uh, are you going to stay on at the school? Okay, now let's choose. Very good, Wendy. Very good, Pamela, as well. Now, let's choose number three, this, okay? Are you going to stay on, on a school? It's a question and say you. Huh? Now, Abril, please help me to answer this question. Help me to answer. Are you going to stay on the school? It's a question and use you. So, what is the answer? Very good, Nicole. Very good, Wendy. Okay, let me see, let me see. Okay, Nicole or Wendy, please activate your microphone and help me to read the correct answer. Help me. Uh, to read the correct answer, please. You choose, Nicola Wendy, please. Activate your microphone and help me. Yeah, yo, profe. Okay, thank you. Yeah. No, I am not. No, no, I am not. I am starting work in my uncle's garage next month. What about you? Very good. Very, very good. And here she said, uh, here we have a question. Hey, what about you? We have the subject, you. 
and we have a question. Okay, hey, what about you? So, you is the question. The answer is I. So, let's choose number five. Very good, Nicole. Very good, Wendy. Come on, boys, girls. Number five. Let's choose number five. Nicole, Pamela, Antoinette, Kiara Campos. Come on, Kiara. Lady, Jean Paul. Let's choose number five. Nobody? Okay, Nicole, please help me. In, what is the answer for number five, please? Help me to read the answer. Very good, lady. Uh, oh. I am taking my... Uh, A. Next. Mm. You like, very good. Okay, perfect. Now, Rosa, help me to read number five again, please. Help me to read. I'm... I'm taking my I lives next Julie. So I am going to work really hard this year. Very good, Rosa. Very good, Nicole, Wendy, and Abril, of course. So we have number one. Number two, number three, four, and five. Now, very easy. Number six. What is number six? Why or because? Okay, Wendy, help me please in number six. Uh, because they are moving holes in the mm, Almost perfect. Uh, almost perfect. Let's see. We Why? use... Because, very good, why, okay? Why and because are the same, so lo mismo. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? But why is for question and because is for answer. So, the correct order, very good on the chat, is number six here and number seven here, okay? So, we have complete activity number one, activity number two. Now, Let's go to the next activity, okay? Here, in activity number three or activity number seven is the same. Here we have descriptions, okay? Here we have descriptions and here we have the halves. What are the halves? The complements, okay? So, we need to read the sentence and choose, and choose, sorry, the correct half, okay? The correct complement. For example, in number one, we have this. I'm not very good at Latin or the Greek. So, the correct complement is, so, I'm not going to study them anymore. So, I hate, I'm not very good on Latin or Greek. So, I'm not going to study then anymore okay i am this and disaster so let's see volunteer please to help me to read volunteer to help me to read number two please okay very good very good perfect uh, okay wendy help me to read number two please tongues Tom's the best player in the football team. Very good. Tom's the best mm -hmm. player. Now, which one is the correct complement? Uh, so he's playing in the final next week. Very good. Perfect. Very easy because Tom is he. So your answer must use he. So here is number two. And very good, Nicole, on the chat as well. Now, Next, Jair, please. Jair, help me to read number three, please. Number three. Help me to read, please. Sarah likes children. Sarah likes children. Very good. Now, what is the correct complement? Sarah. She, huh? Look for the answer. She. What is the correct complement? 
Very good, Nicole. Okay, Nicole, help me, help me. What is the correct complement? Uh, so. So. So she won. win. Right? Okay, so it's, co it's correct. Okay, repeat, please. Nicole is perfect, but repeat, please. Perfect. So, yes, repeat your answer, please. So, so she. So she wants to be a teacher? Very good.